it's Wednesday the 15th. It's my sister's birthday today. Happy birthday, MJ. Um, hey, Scott. Scott is making us breakfast. It is 9.42 in the morning, um, freshly showered. It's finally sunny outside, but it's only gonna be sunny for one day. Tomorrow it's raining again, so no pro yeah. No pressure washing for me today, <laughs> because what's the point? Uh, um, maybe I'll do it this weekend, I don't know. It's gonna get done before the end of the month, I'm sure. As soon as I get three days worth of good of good weather, I'll do that. So you're probably wondering, hey Sophia, didn't you say you got rid of this? Well, yeah, I did, and then I take, took it back and put it back in the closet, because uh, I like it. Um, so what am I doing today? Very busy today. <laughs> very busy number one i need to finish uh painting the bathroom number two i have to go to the post office i have eight packages to mail pick up the stuff from the p.o box two i have to post stuff on etsy i want to show you the stuff we got last night we were out uh a town over we did two trips um and we were there for about three and a half hours we got a ton of good stuff to sell on the facebook marketplace a few to put on etsy um I need to show you the floor, which is really looking great. It's almost done, probably one more day of um, peroxide on it. I need to show you how to clean vintage Pyrex balls, and then hopefully, hopefully I get to quilt today. We'll see. So let me show you what the floor looks like, and then I'll have breakfast because I'm really hungry right now. So this is what the floor looks like after three days worth of peroxide. So you see it's working. We're almost there. Um, I have a few spots here and a few spots there. The rest is gone and it's definitely going to blend in once I put in the uh, color and uh, the rejuvenate on it. So I'm gonna put the paper towels back on this stain here and put the peroxide on it again and I'll take care and I'll take care of that. Um, I think two more days of soaking in peroxide and we're done with this. So some of you mentioned that I should keep the peroxide in a dark bottle and I've been doing that because otherwise apparently when you put it in a clear bottle it loses its strength. So yeah, I didn't know that. We're having breakfast and today's breakfast is berries with granolas and some toast with raspberry jam and a big cup of coffee. Um, when was it? Saturday. Saturday morning, uh, Tubby and I went to, I'm trying to remember the town, <laughs> Washington Township, no Washington, New Jersey, next to Hackettstown. And they had a rummage sale at a church. And it's their annual thing. They have a, a mission mart, thrift store there, and then every year they do a big sale. And they posted pictures ahead of time to give people an idea of what was going to be at the sale. And I got a lot of stuff there for really pennies on the dollar, really. Like, it was really cheap. And uh, there was no prices. You would just tell them, hey, would you take 15 for that, right? And she says, okay, fine. Um, so on the pictures, there was a series of Pyrex balls. And I say to myself, I have to get them because Pyrex balls sell. And I know a lot of people make fun of my Corningware and my Pyrex um, not addiction because I got rid of a lot of them, <laughs> only have a few left now. Um, but there is a huge community out there of people who collect Pyrex and Corningware. I'm not the only one. And I'm talking like collections, okay? Entire room worth of Pyrex. Walls of every single <laughs> Pyrex ball ever created. Um, and I think it's beautiful and I really, really like the idea. Do I want to collect Pyrex? No, Pyrex I will sell um, without any problem. So I said to 
Uh, Jay, listen, we gotta get out of here mad early because everybody who's gonna be at the front door when we get there is going to be somebody who is in the reselling business, okay? It's not gonna be, um, you know, uh, Susie Q who just wants to get cute stuff to put on a mantle, all right? So we got there at 8.30, it opened at 9. At 8.30, there was already five people in the front and they were looking at the pictures, taking close-ups and already doing their research. So you could tell that these were resellers. This is a look to the reseller. I don't know if I have that look, but what happened? Oh no, she got a bird, hold on. Ah, okay. It was underneath the grates. I got it. It's alive. <laughs> a little cutie. I'm gonna put him outside. Oh man. <laughs> She's killing me, you know? She brings the bird um, three or four times a week, but this one made it, so it's a little sparrow. He's scared, I can feel his little heart beating. I'm gonna put him uh, up front, okay? So, let's see. Off he goes. Pardon the interruption, uh, save the bird. Okay, so you could tell that everybody who was there at the beginning, or at least waiting for the doors to open were resellers, okay? There's a look, <laughs> anyway. Um, but what I did before I went there is really look at the pictures and kind of got a idea of what was around the um, Pyrex balls on the table because I wanted to walk in the room and make a beeline to the Pyrex balls. <laughs> wanted to make sure nobody was getting them. And I noticed in the picture that there was very obviously a window on the left of it. Um, because of the way the light was shining on the uh, Pyrex pole. So I said, okay, it's going to be against the wall by the window. So we walked in and there was like good five, six people ahead of us. And I could see that everybody started from the beginning and they were doing the rounds like this around the table. I just went straight made a left, go straight to the window, and here they were, the Pyrex ball. And some lady was right behind me, and she actually, believe it or not, she tried to grab them from my hands. That's right. She tried to grab the Pyrex balls from my hands. That's how big of a deal Pyrex is. Who knew? Okay, so needless to say, I offered $15 to uh, the lady. Pauline was her name, I believe. And she said, okay, and this gal here got herself five Pyrex balls. So I'm gonna show them to you, but they need cleaning. So today I'm doing a little bit of Pyrex cleaning tutorial and I'm posting them on Etsy and then I have to post other things on Etsy and then I'll go to the post office. So here they are. I have a full set. And this one is called Cinderella Country. Um, so I have the pattern here, and the pattern is in good condition. There's a few fades, but this one comes with a set of other balls. There's the brown one, there's the orange gold butter one, and then there's the yellow one. I think this one is actually the um, gold one, and the one with the design. And then the third, uh, and then the other ball that I got is a single, and it's this one, which is very, very pretty. Now, let me show you something, because a lot of times you go to Goodwill and say, hey, Pyrex resells, but you look at the Pyrex and you're like, oh man, it's got a lot of damage. Let me grab one that has a lot of damage on it. Here, stuff like that. And you're gonna see that a lot. These are uh, dishwasher marks, you know, from the metal racks. Um, and a lot of times people would say, well, I can't really sell that. Guess what? You can clean this up, all right? So we're gonna clean it up. I have baking soda, I have barkeeper's friend, I have a magic eraser, and I have the willingness to scrub. You don't wanna scrub too harshly because you don't want the pattern or the color to get removed, but the inside of them is in really, really good condition. So this is going to go as a set. Again, I paid $15 for all um, five Pyrexes. This one set, once it's clean, I can sell it probably for $45 as a set. And then this one, I can probably sell it for 
13 18 dollars depending on how well I clean it matter of fact we're gonna start with this one and some of you are probably thinking well what's the big deal are you not making that much of a profit well you do that 10 times a week and yes you are so there you go I'm putting hot water in my sink it's got to be really 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 hot in my water I'm putting baking soda And you also want the set C cleaning agent, so we're gonna put stick and span. I only have one glove. I don't know where the other one is. It's the left hand. I'm a righty, so I don't know where we're gonna go with that. Okay, here we go. The water's gotta be really hot. And you let your Pyrex soak in there. I'll do the large one separately. So I said I was going to start with the uh, pink one, right? Here it goes. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I have uh, some dishwasher rack marks here and there. And what I want to do is remove all of those little marks, okay? So, I'm just going to put a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend. Now, you got to be careful because that stuff is a little abrasive and it does remove some of the shine. But we're going to bring back the shine with coconut oil. Um, after that which I have on hand so I just want to sprinkle just a tiny tiny bit so I just sprinkled a little bit on it and I'm dipping my magic eraser um, in the hot water and I'm just going around and then this one is a scotch bright You gotta go gently. It's not a, a full magic eraser. There's another uh, side to it. You don't want to scrub too much. Just enough to remove it. So I would say that this piece cleaned that pretty good, but it's a little dull from dishwasher and scrubbing. So I here have coconut oil. I'm just gonna put a little bit on it, and we're gonna bring back its beautiful shine. Just gotta work it in. There we go. Nice. Okay, so what you want to do if you're going to put it up for sale, uh, like I am, you want to be honest and transparent. You let them know that it's been treated and cleaned for scratches, dishwasher um, scratches, and then all, um, 
coconut oil was placed on it to bring back the shine. Now it does have some discoloration here so you want to be as honest as possible because remember collectors they don't want to get this stuff and most of them will not use the Pyrex bowl. They don't collect them for the purpose of using them to collect them for the purpose of displaying them so 99 percent of the people do that coconut oil treatment they know about it and they do it themselves so it's not a big deal but you want to be honest and let them know so this one is ready to go i'm going to go ahead and do the other bowls so this is the yellow one it's still wet before just want to show you all the scratches here okay this is the yellow one before and here's the yellow one after you see that so it's all removed um, this one just got a little bit just a tiny bit of olive oil but it's ready for sale and it does have a few nicks okay um, where the paint just chipped off it's not my doing but otherwise I'd say that for its age I mean this thing is my age okay it's 49 something years um, it's pretty good so it's ready for its close-up and I'm gonna do the rest of them put them all on Etsy alongside a few other things I will see you in a bit it's 1230 <laughs> yeah all I have is four items ready to be posted they all packed ready to get shipped um, so I have the set of Pyrex, the pink Pyrex ball. I have a really, really cute vintage ceramic bunny. That's a cotton ball holder. Wait until you see this thing. The cotton balls come out of his butt. It's hilarious. It's really cute. Um, anyway, it was a thing back in the 60s. I don't know. And then I have uh, an imperial glass candle wick. You know who you are who asked for that. Uh, divided dish oval that's coming up. What I'm going to do is probably post those items for sale on Etsy once I've uploaded the video so that way everybody gets a chance because some of the folks are um, favorited my Etsy shop and they get a notification whenever I post something new and that's how they grab the stuff before it's posted because yesterday when I posted the video the cats were gone already <laughs> they were gone so yeah I'm gonna post stuff as I post the video so first grab let's go in the garage let me show you all the good stuff I got yesterday and then I'm gonna uh, take the stuff to the post office because I have I think eight packages I need to uh, mail yes eight going to my garage to show you what I got yesterday yesterday was an awesome day <laughs> awesome day look at these three um, pots and they are um, they're not fiber they are clay and somebody just threw away all three of them the three colors they have some damage but they have this shabby chic look they need to get cleaned probably gonna get 30 bucks for that and the whole garage got filled up again with stuff um, these two found those yesterday um, they're not as pretty as the other one the other one I think I sold it for $45 um, they have the design inside they need to be clean probably can get 45 bucks for two this is all free stuff that people throw out all free uh, same thing with this two bedside tables um, they wear a little bit in the rain though so they definitely need a good coat of uh, polyurethane on them so I'm gonna take time I don't know when I'm gonna have time to do that but I will do it uh, what else did I get Ooh, vintage um, radio flyer wagon um, it's dirty it needs to be clean it's the kind that has um, what do you call it the bars on the outside let me see if I can put this one in to show you here we go all right this guys it's a tenant country these guys um, steel wheels not the plastic repro somebody's selling theirs for 269 dollars i'm not gonna go for that i may sell it for 75 something like that on the facebook marketplace uh found these these i'm gonna put them yeah the green chair is still here uh i didn't put it up yet <laughs> and those two chairs they're still here too um these are fabulous these are uh porch light and um what would you call this mid-century modern probably they need a good cleaning somebody's definitely gonna buy those because you know folks in the mid-century modern 
they grab this stuff real fast. Uh, found this thing here, this part here that's gonna go on Etsy probably. It's uh, vintage, it's in excellent condition. It's by Tripoli Imports. A pair of these, these are um, cording candles. Um, yeah, the little table, I didn't put it up for sale. Uh, the ubiquitous soda can. <laughs> Uh, I didn't put that one up for sale yet, so that's going to go. Um, all right, so this thing here and those two here. These are a set for an uh, entertainment center. It's by Integra. They are super expensive. Somebody had them boxed up, um, opened the box, pulled them out. There is no cable. It's the kind of thing that you actually... Um, can go online and buy the power cables for. Um, it's cut a cost maybe $15. If they don't power up, which I doubt, because they were very well wrapped, so it's obviously somebody who moved and didn't um, reinstall them. Um, I can actually sell each component for over $100. So there's about $350 worth of stuff. I'll spend the 15 bucks to get the power cord, just to see. Um, this thing here, kind of vintage. Um, it's interesting. Hi! Uh, it's a mirror in a log. Um, so that's going to go on Etsy as well. Some people who have log cabin design would like that. Um, there's this welcome sign. The lady threw it up because one of the screw came out. And all it needs is a good coat of rejuvenate on it. Good cleaning. This tray, same thing. Vintage. Really, really cute. That's going to go on Etsy. Um, this thing here is brand new in a container. It's a microphone. So that's going to go on the marketplace. And then what else? What else? What else? I'm trying to look. Oh, this thing here. Um, I put that on the marketplace for 15 bucks. It's got all its component. Really cute wooden box. And it has the key inside. And then I found this, which needs a good cleaning. Unbelievable, and it still has the tag on it. This is a vintage Snow White suitcase. It just needs cleaning. That's it. Um, the inside is clean. This sell for 50 bucks um, on Etsy. So guess what? I did pretty good. There's more stuff. Um, there's this bird thing here. Then it's a good cleaning that can sell. And then what else? I'm looking. Uh, I think there was more, but I can't remember what else. Anyway, so I have to grab uh, the stuff that's here that I need to ship. So there's the two trays. So I need just to put the address on. I got my little uh, list here. The two Florida tray, the mug, the cats, the Natchman, and the two depression cups. So I just got to find it. Here we go. Uh, this is the Jazz Cats. So I need to wrap this and ceramic house no uh, what do we have here sheep dog and cell uh, the blue cup pottery right here so that goes and then the depression cups are somewhere in here I believe yes two of them sold so these are the unwrap I gotta wrap them and then I'm on my way to the post office. Well, look at that. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and I finally got everything ready to go. We got two trays, uh, Florida tray. We have a depression cup, a depression cup, little cats, musical cats, um, crystal, and the mug. Or is it the mug? So I'll tell you what would really help me out here. Uh, because Tubby's got questions. And um, control freak. He wants to put on the um, spreadsheet whether something was purchased as a result of the YouTube channel and if people buy stuff of Etsy if they are um, subscribers or found out about the item through my YouTube channel. So if you are and you purchase something on my Etsy, just send me a little note, um, you know, there's a little contact thing. Um, hey, Sophia, blah, 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 uh, I watch your YouTube channel and, um, you know, 
I purchased this because he wants to know um, how many random people we get as opposed to um, sourcing from the YouTube channel, which kind of is important information. But right now, I don't know where he's at and I'm the one packing. So we got a problem because um, division of labor and fair. <laughs> It's 1.30 in the afternoon. I've got nothing done that I wanted to do and I really want to quilt. So I'm going to go to the post office. When I come back, I'll have lunch and then I'll put one more coat on the walls in the bathroom and then I'm quilting and then I'm editing this video and posting stuff on Etsy. And uh, let me tell you, I have no problem sleeping lately. This gal here sleeps very well, <laughs> very well. It's hard to get up in the morning, but I sleep well. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Whew. Done with the post office. We're You're up back. to date, huh? You're back? Yeah. <laughs> so where you at now? Uh, I am uh, still working on props. So but... it's all Scott's designs. Yeah. Um, and the props are for what? Uh, so... Let me, let me see, do I have that up? Oh, look at all the screens. He's working on like multiple screens, it's crazy. Uh, you know what, I rendered it out last night, so maybe I can show you. Do you got some animation already? No, this is just the animatic. What's an animatic? So an animatic is basically a storyboard that um, is put on a timeline. Uh huh. And then you add the uh, voiceover and sound, sometimes sound effects and music to it. All right. But it's it's kind of like a rough sketch uh, for uh, how the final animation is going to be. Okay. So you don't have anything in there that's final except maybe the the uh, voiceover and maybe the uh, sound effects. So it's like a slideshow. Like a slideshow, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. So let's see it. And everything is your design. Yeah. I'm Dr. Will Powers, and today we're talking about habits, specifically bad ones, and how to fix them. Huh. My next guest admits to having a bad habit. He claims he's always late. Let's welcome my next guest, the White Rabbit. So the White Rabbit is running late, and okay. that's the joke. Ah. Uh. Basically, and they try to introduce him twice. And he's still not there. And then once he starts getting into the gist of what the topic is, that's when the white rabbit shows up. Okay, and that's the Alice rabbit. And that's the Alice rabbit. Okay, so where's the queen? We want to see the queen. So the queen is a little later. There she is. Ahaha. <laughs> Wait, we missed her. All right. In your case, we know it's lateness. Step two, have a good reason to change it. <laughs> if you don't have a good reason to change habit, you're not going to do it. <laughs> like I said, it would be nice to have less stress. And it would probably improve my relationships. All right. So how long is the video? Five minutes. Wow. So it's like the old uh, public announcements uh, from the 60s they were giving in school. Um, yeah, I guess I guess similar to that. It's, uh, you know, yeah, those kind of tutorial things that uh, yeah. yeah, Disney and all that would do. Yeah, it's sort of like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I guess Disney was on to something. Okay. You ready for lunch? Uh, sure, yeah. All right. What time is it? 2.20, 2.30. Yeah. Do you think it's time for lunch? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Wow. Look at this pathetic lunch. <laughs> it's all <so> past. <laughs> but wait, the salad. So we're good, right? No, it's cheap salad. <laughs> That's all right. No. Sometimes iceberg can be good. I like it. When is that time? Well, today when I don't <laughs> feel like making another salad. <laughs> Okay, I am back and I am putting a second coat on this wall and then I have to tackle um, the other wall. This is nice thick paint. I love gloss. This is, uh, let me see, what is it? It's beer. I only use beer, which is at Home Depot. Um, I've always liked it, I don't know why. And it's a durable, long-lasting finish, low order, zero VOC, and it's a gloss enamel. Which is perfect for bathrooms. So, I'm going to do a second coat on everything, and then we're going to go quilting. Actually, you know what? I'll edit this video first and then I'll go quilt and maybe add a little bit of quilting on it. Um, not too much because I know that a lot of you are not into quilting and it's kind of like wasting your time. I get it. 
sure is not wasting mine because that's my happy place. Um, anyway, let me do that and then um, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, there's no way I'm going to have time to do the floor during this vacation. I have all the things to do. Saturday, I'm spending the day uh, with Tubby. We're going to process all the stuff we got uh, off the street. We got to clean it. I got to post it on the Facebook marketplace. Um, and I still have a lot of items to put on Etsy. I have maybe another 30 items I need to put on Etsy. So we're not going to the stores anytime soon because uh, I have way too much and I gotta get this stuff out the door anyway. See you in a bit. for today. I um, have two coats here and it came out really really nice. I still have to uh, close my paint. This is all white and bright. Very very nice. Um, the area as you see here is just a reflection from the mirror. All right, well we're not going to look at this because it's a little bit of a mess. However what I did is shop the house. Um, I had this little, I removed the white thing I had on it. I think I like it better without it. I moved that away from the sink uh, to center it with the window. This is a plant uh, that was given to me at work. I um, can't remember when. I guess it was for boss day or something like that. Yes, it was. Um, it's a very interesting plant. I cannot remember the name of it, but I like it. And the pottery too. I had this little birdie in the basement. This is one of the valances. You can't really see it. Um, that I bought at the thrift store. They're the same ones that are down in the dining room. I have a set of 10. So I took a valance from one of that sets. And you remember I put that film on the window so that way the neighbors can't really uh, see us coming out of the shower. And this is an old print that used to be in the guest room. And I put it up here because we like it. And this here has, this needs to be painted. This only has one coat, so I'll have to finish the second coat sometimes during the week. I probably won't film that, but anyway, I know you can't see much because it's kind of backlit. Um, the bathroom is pretty much done, so I think, aside from my big mess over there, I think it's looking much better. I like the window without the uh, gray thing. Let me turn it off. Maybe you can see. A little bit more light um, daylight. Ah, makes no difference. I'm still backlit. Um, I'm done for today, guys. I'm going downstairs. It's 4.15. It was a busy day. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to edit this video. And then I'm going to go quilt. <laughs> because I really want to quilt. I, it's, I'm on vacation, okay? I need to do something for myself. Um, so I'm going to go quilt. I probably won't film that, I think, unless you want to, all right? So comment down below. If you want me to film quilting, then I will. 
um, in the next video. But for tonight, I'm pretty much done. I, I just want to go sit down, edit this video, get it out of the way, post the four items on Etsy so you can look uh, forward to seeing those and maybe buy them. Um, I'm telling you, the Pyrex aren't going to last long, so hurry. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then I'll enjoy the rest of the evening. Maybe I'll have an adult beverage. Um, thank you for watching. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!